Why'd you do that? I hate dropping the ball. You know, I drop the ball at the end of the two minutes, can't do that. Um, and that's why I proud myself now, so definitely, definitely had to do that for sure. Tyler, everybody referred, ball hawks always attached to you because mm -hmm. of the interceptions. You popped an offensive lineman at the, on the game. Is there a forcefulness to your game that maybe gets overlooked by the ball hawks? Yeah, I think I think it's just something that a lot of people don't know about me. Like, you know, I'm, I'm always ready to go stick my nose in there and get dirty with the, you know, with the big guys in there. So um, that's something I've never been afraid of. That's something that was preached uh, all the time in Minnesota, being tough, being physical. So I think that's, that's where I start my game first. That's how I get into my game really is. Um, getting physical and then you know I'm feeling good now I can go look for the ball so um, that's that's definitely my my first start of the game. How difficult was it to be patient at the start of, at the start of training camp? You know, with the injury rehabbing, trying to get back on the field. Yeah, it was, it was definitely difficult. It's always difficult when uh, when you can't be out on the grass. Um, you know, me, I, I pride myself in taking care of my body, and so um, you know, I do everything I can to prevent myself from um, being off the field. But um, you know, it happens. The game, that's how the game is. So uh, yeah, it was, it was difficult, but I had great vets around me, great teammates that you know were, were preaching to me, talking to me, telling me to stay patient. Um, Making sure I'm still, you know, paying attention in practice, being in the books, being in the uh, the film room. So it was it was good. Just getting on the field, like in that goal line period with the first team, mm -hmm. you feel like that's where you belong. And is it encouraging and exciting to kind of be on the field with that first group? Yeah, I think on the field anywhere is where I belong. Uh, I I just want to be on the field where, wherever, man. Wherever you can put me, wherever I can go uh, and, and do a job, I, I want to do it. Did you come up with that INT and the? Oh yeah, that you can. Definitely, yeah. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> You said um, a lot of good vets around you. you. It's a young DB room. Who is like mm -hmm. the leader in that room? Oh, uh, we got a lot of leaders. Uh, I think everybody in that room is a leader. Um, but, you know, guys like Nick McLeod, um, Jalen Mills, Jason Pennai, Dane Belden, guys that have, that have been here and done it before. Um, you know, they, they've really been done a good job taking me under their wing. Um, and, you know, being that, that guy in, in my ear, um, you know, telling me, you know, how, how this thing goes. So um, I've definitely been, been ears open, listening to, to everything I can. Uh, taking it all in and learning as much as possible. So on the pick that you that you scooped, mm -hmm. the William Sassy one, can you walk us through the play, what you saw, and how you played it, and everything? Yeah, it was it was just a, a goal line call. So you know, I had I had the vertical of my of my side. Um, you know, Cage Cage ran it over. Uh, did a good job, kind of you know, giving me a little nudge off. Uh, but I was able to come in and cut the ball. Uh, it was kind of low, so that's why I had to die for it. But. Yeah. You popped up and returned it. I guess when mm -hmm. you get the ball, when you get your hands on the ball as often as you do, mm -hmm. are you do you feel like the interception is in the end of the play? Like you feel like you've oh, the return? Yeah, I fell I fell down on the ground too many times in college, but you can get up now, so I'm good. <laughs> so that, that's gonna be my goal is make sure I get in that end zone this time. What do you Wait. think you need to do to win the starting job? Do my job. Do my job consistently. That's what everybody needs to do to win the starting job here. See NFL, you gotta do your job consistently. So that's what I gotta do. In Hard Knocks, when they drafted you, you heard the GM says, like, you're going to get a safety who's going to start for you. Do you come in assuming you're going to, or do you come in putting that pressure on yourself to be on the starting 11 you right when you walk assume. out there? You can never assume. This is the NFL. Everybody's good. Everybody's everybody's good. You know, we got guys that have been here that have done it before. Uh, I knew I was going to have to earn it no matter what, so I didn't even see that. But uh, mm -hmm. I, I never going to come in and assume that the job is mine just because of who I am. I got to come in and earn it every day. It doesn't matter who you are. Um, you know, even if I was a 10-year vet, that – and your best still got to come in and prove that he's still that guy every day. So um, you can't ever assume, no. When we see Hard Knocks, we see the Giants were on you early. They liked you pre-combine. Mm -hmm. What we remind us what your pre-draft touch points were with the Giants? Like where, who'd you meet with when, like was uh, Bowen at your pro day? Mm -hmm. Like, what do you remember? Uh, so I didn't have anybody on my pro day from the Giants, but uh, uh, Coach Mike Trier came out and saw me. And he, uh, we we uh, did a workout uh, at Minnesota, did a little bit of board work. Uh, and that was about it. Honestly, I, I didn't really have too much contact with the, with the Giants um, before the draft, so that was kind of kind of a little surprise. It was a really great surprise, but uh, you know, I wasn't really thinking about it too much. They, keep, when, they kept they, it under the wraps. Yeah, when, sure. when they did draft you, what are the main things that they said that they liked about you? Uh, you know, leadership and communication. You know, that, I think that's that's really what they what they wanted me to bring in here um, is you know, somebody who can who can really lead other guys and, and push them and, and push everybody around them to get better as well as get myself better. Um, so I think think that was, that was probably the main thing for sure. Well, Along the lines of those two things, uh, the free safety obviously you can have call the plays, right, mm -hmm. the last year in the Green Bay. Obviously in college you don't have presumably in the helmet. No, so, no, but, no. But yeah, now they do. But, but they are. Were you doing some of that? Like, yeah, I was in whatever I was, version of college that yeah, was. Yeah, I was in, in charge of all the coverage okay, calls on both were. sides. So, 
um, where wherever whatever the call was, I was in charge of you know making the call, the coverage calls okay. to the to the receivers. I mean, sorry, to the uh, DBs and linebackers uh, and to the other safety. So uh, it's definitely definitely used to communicating with everybody. I see a lot of one-on-one -on -one communication with you and could be your position coach could be your secondary coach whatever what are the details of the game that you guys are going all over like down in and down out that you're kind of honing in on to keep growing i see everything uh offensive tendencies um you know different looks um different ways i can i can play my technique because it's a totally different game than college uh and it's something that you know obviously i'm not used to i'm still learning so uh, I'm just trying to learn as much as possible. Anything that they can give me, any tips, tells they can give me, I'm asking for it and I'm listening to it. So um, I always try to put myself in position to be, you know, around those coaches, around those guys that are able to give me that information, so I can you know, make sure that I put in my role deck so I can use it later. How is it different? And what stands out when you talk about the difference between college transition here? Uh, first off, the spacing of everything uh, that that's totally different than college. Um, obviously, you know, the hashes are different, um, but it's, it's definitely more of a you know matchup. Uh, based league than, than college, you know, you know, formations will tell you a lot, but, you know, if you got Justin Jefferson over there at the X, formation's not telling you shit. If Justin Jefferson had the X, the formation did not matter. The, the ball's going over there. So, like the first um, so yeah, that's, that's one of the biggest things that, that's a lot different that, um, you know, you got to pay attention to everything and, and who's, who's around you, um, who the matchups are, who's out on the field. Um, so that's, that's the biggest thing. It sounds like you guys already started prepping for week one a little bit. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit yeah. I imagine when you first got back into practice last week, but I took, you probably felt like you're playing a little bit of catch up. Do you feel like you're on a even playing field now, like you're caught up, so to speak? Um, I made sure that I didn't have to play catch up by my preparation and you know my mental reps that I was taking. Obviously, physically I had to play catch up, and get myself um, back in football shape, and doing that. So you know I'm still catching back up in, in that aspect, but um, making sure that I was never, never having to catch up mentally. That's what makes it easier to come back in. Gotcha. Thank you, Todd. Thank Thanks, you, Todd. Appreciate, appreciate it.